British Columbia is well known as a boater's paradise. With stunning nature, hundreds of islands, and endless coastlines to explore, BC has some of the best cruising in the world. While the vast majority of boaters take pride in this delicate marine environment, the last decade has seen an underlying issue plague many waterways in the province. When they no longer want their boat, they will just leave it tied up to a mooring buoy and just abandon it, not come back. Rotting vessels that have been neglected and abandoned are washing ashore, breaking apart and sinking. Fiberglass does not break down, basically, for forever. You could have it. There seems to be no baseline anymore. It's just, you know, I don't want it, fill it full of garbage and let it drift, you know. And... There are now hundreds of these boats clogging up our beaches and shorelines, threatening this fragile ecosystem. Even if it's not usable as a boat anymore, it is uh, accumulating on the bottoms of our harbors and, uh, and on our shorelines. And, and people are very right to be alarmed and concerned. Vessels of Concern Impact is, is actually the top of the list because there's really no mediation, there's no mitigation, and the government really is having a hard time. What do they do? They don't want to get into legal battles. The abandoned boat issue has reached a tipping point for many coastal communities in BC, and people up and down the coast are getting desperate for a sustainable solution to this problem. Abandoned Dreams derelict and abandoned boats on BC's coast.